Hey everybody, it's Mark Shepard, and this could be the most significant day in the history of Bitcoin and Litecoin and cryptocurrencies in general because... Yesterday and this morning, I don't know when the exact time was yet, but it says in this article from Coindesk.com, Segwit goes live. Segwit goes live. Say that fast three times. Why Bitcoin's big upgrade is a blockchain game changer. And I don't know if you guys have time to read articles or maybe you're not readers, you know, but uh, I think this is important and I want to read it out loud. And uh, since I'm not making money from this particular article, article. Hopefully, uh, Coindesk will understand that I'm not trying to uh, steal their their copyright. All right? I'm trying to share what they've said. Uh, and I think it's important. So block 481824. That's when segregated witness or segwit will activate on Bitcoin late today or tomorrow morning, bringing the years long debate over the contentious code upgrade to an official close. At that time, users will finally be able to take advantage of the long-promised technology. Looking back, it's important to note how long the change, perhaps the biggest ever made to the Bitcoin software, has taken. To start, the community has been embroiled in politics since SegWit was first proposed in 2015 by Bitcoin core contributor Peter Woolley as a possible compromise to the scaling debate. So, again, the hypnosis of money. Why I'm doing this? what people think and how we interact and how issues get resolved and how consensus is reached is a dynamic, fundamental human problem. How do we solve our differences? Do we just go to war? Do we stop talking to each other? Do we break up? Do we do a hard fork? Do we work together? Do we compromise? These are all different things that fit into the entire cryptocurrency blockchain transformation that's going on. Um, so, on and on and on. Essentially, <laughs> let's see, I gotta read more. Since then, there's been no shortage of drama. Mining firm Bitmain was accused of blocking SegWit in order to boost its revenue. Major Bit Bitcoin companies and mining pools united behind their own scaling plan, and finally, unhappy with the plan, users equipped with GIFs and branded hats responded with a kind of revolt. And that's not even the half of it. But SegWit, soon to be guaranteed today, marks the first day it will be usable on Bitcoin. Here are the key things that SegWit enables. It rearranges how data is stored in Bitcoin blocks. It boosts capacity while remaining compatible with past versions of the software. It removes transaction malleability, a bug that's been a primarily road, primary roadblock for many Bitcoin projects. And the idea, the use, the uh, the metaphor of a road has been used several times here. Uh, Charlie Lee the other day or yesterday tweeted about uh, an article he wrote back in January. We talked about two roads, one being crowded, one being not so crowded, and if there were bridges back and forth. The, the volume on this one road, Bitcoin, could be relieved by this other road parallel to it called Litecoin, and they could swap back and forth easily. And that is what the Lightning Network is, okay? So many developers believe SegWit will boost the development of more forward-looking technologies necessary for Bitcoin's mainstream use. The best known is the Lightning Network, first proposed in 2015 white paper by Joseph Poon and Taj Drija. The idea is payment channels that move transactions off the blockchain could boost Bitcoin's capacity to millions of transactions per second. And that, my friends, as a crypto cranker, we want Bitcoin to be happy and good and fast. And we want everybody to use it because those of us who have some will benefit, right? Yeah, the hypnosis of money. My own greed, right? If it's a win-win, it's okay. If it's a win-lose, then I'm not so good with it. I want everybody to win. Because, because you know, I want everyone to get a prize. <laughs> 
All right, working under the assumption that SegWit could eventually activate on Bitcoin, a handful of developers have built Active Lightning Network implementations and they're now working to ensure that all of them work with one another. So these guys, uh, our beloved geeks, our beloved computer guys have been working on this and uh, have uh, taken the risk to invest their time and effort. That's value. They're investing into a system of value. And to me, that's, that's huge. Um, and since the Lightning Network is now possible on two major cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin and Litecoin, which is why I'm so bullish on Litecoin, because it's got a lot more room to move because it's still in, in the $50 range, right? Litecoin could, could really crank. And Litecoin at 1000 is still a viable... Thing compared to Bitcoin's 5,000 or 10,000, right? So we'll see where it goes. Developers are also planning on using the network to create a new type of trustless trading between the two. It's also possible that these tools could potentially eradicate the need for cryptocurrency exchanges. Ha! I'm in favor of that. Which have been under scrutiny recently for messing up at the expense of cryptocurrency users. And anytime there's these middlemen that show up, they're they're cranking it. They're taking money from the transactions. And what if they're not there and we can just do the transactions? To me, that that makes so much sense, and that's why this is a revolution. It's really a revolution, okay? Uh, because right now, if you look at the American system, you have to to buy a stock. You can't just buy a stock. You have to go to a broker or a website. Um, you have to pay them a commission. They handle all that stuff. And meanwhile, the professionals are in and out so much faster than us amateurs that it's weighted in their favor. And uh, and so anyway, I think I think this is a good thing. That's all I'm trying to say. Um, and other projects that need or at least work better with SegWit compatibility are well underway too. Developers preparing for SegWit activation have been working on MAST or MAST, which enables more complex Bitcoin smart contracts, Schnorr signatures, which would enable another transaction capacity boost, and TumbleBit, an anonymous top layer network. Okay, like, all right, uh, they're losing me, but I'm stretching my brain. We're almost done with this article, so hang in with me. Continuing politics, and while SegWit looks to enable a bright future for Bitcoin, it doesn't exactly bring an end to the debate and politics that have mired the community for years. But that's our illusion, that somehow a community isn't going to have debate or politics, because a community is a bunch of different people with a bunch of different opinions and ideas, and somehow we have to work them out without killing each other, right? The whole idea of consensus, the... Uh, the spiritual tradition, the Quakers or the, the friends would never do anything. Their whole thing was consensus. And if one person didn't agree, well, then they had to just keep working on it until a shift was happened. And we don't like that, but it's also one of the best things about us, you know, that we can hang in there and work with each other and talk to each other and make adjustments and make compromises and come up with new ideas and express them to each other and evaluate them and eventually come to some kind of action. And maybe it takes longer than we want, but that's the idea of consensus. Um, so I think it's important. I think it's revolutionary and hopefully it will uh, save the day eventually. <laughs> All right. So now Bitcoin. Oh, wait. Da, 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 da. Okay, some Bitcoin users still believe SegWit is the wrong choice, and they're so adamant about this, they forked the Bitcoin blockchain, creating a new version entirely called Bitcoin Cash. The blockchain eliminates SegWit in favor of other scaling tech, and I don't know much about that, but Bitcoin Cash exists, and we'll see how it goes, right? Now Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash are competing, putting two ideologies to the test with real money on the line. So that's really the solution you know, is, okay, we are so adamant that we're right, and you're so adamant that you're right, eventually, sometimes we have to split off. Sometimes a relationship has to change, right? And it's not usually pleasant because we want everybody to get along, people. Can we just get along? But 
the only thing that will test it is if the people with this guy, we think this idea is better. Well, okay, go try it, right? That's what I do. I try out ideas in my own life, and hopefully you can do that as well, all right? The questions being asked now are, which cryptocurrency has the best technical roadmap? Which will attract the most users and attention? And which will remain the most decentralized, or do both of them have merit? Well, answers to these questions are uncertain, one thing is for sure. With SegWit activating today, which is yesterday, or this morning, the community is one step closer to determining whether its scaling capabilities are all they were touted as. So, what does that mean for all of us? Well, go to Bitcoin and watch and see what happens. See what happens later today. See what happens in the next week. It will take a little while for this news to filter through, but I don't think it's going to take long. Um, I think I think we're going to see it start to move in a couple of days. Um, and I think Litecoin is probably going to move a lot because unlike the other currencies, Litecoin and Bitcoin are kind of in the same boat. And it looks like Litecoin is going to definitely get a hand up from this. So that's my that's my report. That's my second crypto cranking morning report. <laughs> this is Mark Shepard. This has been the Hypnosis of Money and your Crypto Cranker's Guide to the Galaxy of Greed and Grooviness. And if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. Please share. Please check out my stuff on Steemit. Uh, please check out my stuff on YouTube and uh, I really appreciate your time, your attention and the fact that we're kind of in this together. This is a new world. It's a revolution. We're watching it live and it's really exciting to be a part of it and uh, let's just start some music right now. <laughs>